Hello Lolas, I am here. I'm going to make a really quick video because I made like a 30 minute video for you guys and I decided I'm not sure if I'm ready to have that conversation with you guys just yet. So I'm just going to introduce her really quickly and um, because I know people are like curious like who, what, what, what's going on with this baby. So Ayani, um, I bought this kit. It's a very small kit. This kit, look, my hand literally will cover up her whole head. She's a very small kit. I bought this kit to practice on. I was supposed to go super, super dark with her, but I, when I got the, the sculpt, I actually liked it more than I thought I would. Um, I had picked up a picture that was a yawning baby, but was very, very dark skin. Like really, really like the darkest chocolate color you could probably find almost. And I was supposed to do it in that color, but when I saw the kit, I really loved it. And all I could see was like a fresh newborn. So, um, I decided that's what I want to do. I know you guys are waiting for me to, um, get into more deeper, darker chocolate skin tones. I'm going to have to let that progression occur naturally and organically with me as I grow and I'm going to have to work my way up. Um, I'm going to have to get comfortable with caramel and milk chocolate and then dark chocolate and then you know super chocolate otherwise it's going to be forced it's not going to be as good it's not i know when i can push myself and when and and take risks versus push myself to the point where it's just going to be a disaster and silicone is not not cheap um it will be too much money to just be thrown away after kid after kid because even um with a cuddle head it can cost me anywhere from a hundred to three hundred to four hundred dollars just for the head itself we're not considering you know the time that i'm gonna put in it the um the hair the well if it's horrible you didn't get no dang on hair but um you know the silicone itself and stuff like that i easily spend a hundred and something dollars two hundred dollars every order when I order my uh, silicone um, for my paints and stuff. But anyway, nevertheless, Ayani, <laughs> I thought of this name because I was like, she's a yawner. So Yanni, I thought it's so corny, but I just crack up every time I see it. Ayani, Ayani. So that's her name. Um, I had a few comments that people was like oh she looked like she got thrush but she does not the picture was exaggerated like it was so close up like literally i had the camera like down this baby throat um she just have a milk tongue um and so it's very lightly done i don't know if see i don't i don't know let me see if i can if i can tilt her head back her head is so little i rooted her in like one day not even sitting the whole day doing it i don't know but it's barely there um i mean it's there not barely but is there you can't see it on here on trying to do it on video i can't hold the camera and um try to zoom in it's kind of hard but let me see so she's like a little 14 inch supposed to be but i'm gonna put her on a bigger body i just i don't know yeah no that's not gonna work okay never mind we'll we'll if you want to see the pictures you can see them on my instagram or on my actual facebook business page she's on a barred body this body is for a baby that i'm working for a special little one <laughs> and um she so her body is ordered, but I ordered her a bigger body. I may order her a small one too, just in case I have to put it back on this body. Um, but I wanted her to be a bigger so she can fit in different clothes. This body is perfect for my little one because she's 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 little. She's she's just turning ten. So um, you can tell how see so much too much light. Um, but anyway, so. Um, she's a little peanut. Um, I painted her because I was just needing to decompress. And sometimes I have to do stuff that's for me. 
You know what I mean? Like when it comes to art, if I don't do things that I really want to do or paint things that I'm really passionate about, I, I kind of shut down. But we're going to, I'm going to have a conversation with you guys on maybe another video or live and just talk with you guys, chat with you guys, let you guys know what's going on. Cause I don't know. I'm, you know, long story short, I'm at a crossroad. I don't know what I'm going to do next, <laughs> but, um, I have a lot of kits here and I need to stop buying kits. I'm actually wanting to buy one more kit and then I'm done. Um, cause I need to paint up some of these silicone kits here. So, um, I also want to let you guys know because I cannot paint reborns like I want to for sale. Um, because I don't root. And I think my work on my reborns is, is starting to, you know, evolve a bit. And I just don't want to sell a whole bunch of ball babies, basically. And people don't really want to buy ball babies, mostly because I paint primarily biracial and African American babies. And our babies tend to be born with a ton of hair. So it's, you know, it's very rare that we have a baby and it does happen um but it's a little rare that it happens where we don't um um we have a baby that doesn't have hair this um i turned that light off i just just so you you guys can see um i turned the light off the bulb in here was supposed used to be daylight this is a lifetime bulb i never have to change the bulb or nothing like that but i noticed that over time it's become more yellow and so it's it's almost very yellow so when i turn the light off you can see that she's not a extreme yellow baby she's she's a i mean she's my by far favorite painting and i'm you know i did a long video i don't even know if i'm upload that but for the chatterbox another 30 minute video <laughs> And um, I was just talking about how I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I, I've been trying to do this. Not, not really trying, but wanting to get to this point. She reminds me of India to a certain extent, India and Ducky. Um, but even, she's even like a upgrade to, to them. And I, I shouldn't say upgrade because I don't want mommies to ever feel like, oh, my baby's nothing. Because those babies are really special to me. That's what I'm saying. They, they kind of hold a standard for me. But my work, you can't expect me to stay at the same point. I'm always trying to evolve. For me personally and my personal taste, this baby is a little bit above that. She has, um, I like bruising on my babies. I like, you know baby acne i like veining i like you know all the nine yards her mouth like inside her mouth on the roof of her mouth i paint it all in there like everything inside her mouth looks really realistic um you call me gabby what okay we're getting out um sorry i i let her use my uh <laughs> she likes to take a bath in my garden tub so i uh let her do that um uh, and I'm, I'm like girl <laughs> you're not a little baby anymore i use i usually you know help her out the tub and all that and stuff girl what do you want me to do now she, plus she's at the age where she don't want me to see her half her time anyway but anyway nevertheless um so back to this See what I'm talking about? All this personal information y'all did not need. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm really excited about her. She's a really little peanut. I'm working on a project for a special place to to, to display her in my nursery. So um, I will be out to the craft stores and um, yeah. Oh no no no! I was telling you, since I can't paint the reborns, I have a couple cuddles. Um, I have some coming. I have some here. Cuddles with hands and feet. I have a few partial silicones that I don't really want to paint them. And I, I regret actually buying them now. And well, I regret even more so that I tried to open their mouths already. So then that means I can't sell them because I've already started cutting on them. So 
Um, I'm going to have to paint those. But in, in the place of Reborns, I think I'm going to do a little bit more cuddles. Since I've gotten a little bit faster with my being able to root, that was my biggest hang up with doing cuddles because people want a hair. Um, I can offer some ball, but people want a hair. And I don't root like that. So, um... I don't, I wasn't rooting like that. I wasn't, it was taking me like three and four and six and eight weeks. And when it takes me that long for a baby that's not going to make me as much profit, it really kills my income because I'm spending all this time doing this and I can't, you know, I'm not, I'm taking away from that. But anyway, business wise, it didn't make sense. But now I think I've gotten a little bit better with more efficient with how I paint my cuddles. Um, and also with the reborn. So um, I figured the average reborn cost is around about 1500 A really, a nice, really, really nice one. Not to say that you can't get one for less than, because I know somebody in the comments going to go ham on that. I got my baby for $500. Even though it had two lashes and, and one eyebrow, I still got $500. I paid $500 and it's high end to me. I don't want to hear that. I'm just saying. And the average price is around 1500 for a painted rooted nicely done african-american baby average well at least where i've been shopping maybe i'm in the wrong place but anyway um cuddles are not that much different in the price range i know a lot of people are like oh my god but they only the head and all this let me tell you something i put so much work into my cuddles i listen i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lower my price so um, my cuddles sometime can be, you know, 1600, 1800. I haven't really gotten to the point where I've seen cuddles sell for 2800, 3000. I'm not doing that. Um, I, let me say, I'm not doing that right now. I don't think, unless it's a really big baby or whatever. But I thought that that would be a, a nice compensation for instead of reborns. And you know, people, if you want to see, get an introduction of, my work a little bit you know cuddles and hands and feet are nice um so I'll, I'll probably do a few of those until i decide if i'm gonna you know basically uh stop painting to sell but for now and i'm not putting it out i'm not saying i'm not because i know a lot of artists do that and then they're you know they're still selling you know some people do it as a marketing you know scare tactic oh you better get my babies now because i might not be painting forever no, I'm seriously struggling with the fact of my hobby becoming more work than I'm not being able to really paint for myself and, you know, da 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 Anyway, nevertheless, uh, we'll, like I said, we'll get into that topic later, but I just want to let you guys really know really quick things that I'm going to be working on here soon after I finish these last two babies. Oh my God. <sighs> it's just... And it, nothing against the babies i'm glad that i got them i got them painted i just got it now i gotta root them and um and then it's and then i'll be done and then i'm gonna do that and then um i do plan on having at least one to two maybe full body silicone babies available you know before the end of this year for sale um i have a lot of kits that i'm painting for myself and i'm just kind of going to be taking some time to, you know, try to up my skills. There's some things that I know I need to work on um, and I need to perfect um, technical stuff. And um, so I'm going to I'm going to be working on a lot of my personal babies. But in between, expect some cuddles with rooted hair. Um, I'm leaning more to more of them with hands and feet. Some may not, which the ones without hands and feet, of course, will be less cost a little less um but I'm leaning more towards doing those because I can't really do reborns like I want to um so that will be coming up I'm still on the fence about Logan um, once I get him rooted I'll make that decision if I can if I can go ahead and push forward and and finish you know go ahead and, and put him up for sale um, I spoke on price and chat about in a live one time. I got it wrote down. I don't remember what it was, 
but we'll get there when we get there. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, I always say I'm not going to do any customs, any private orders. I prefer to paint at random. Um, sometime for repeat customers that I've done numerous business transactions with or customers that I feel very confident that they're going to be easy to work with sometime every now and then I get I don't say no um, so I'm not going to say that I'm not going to do any more customs this year I may possibly do one custom slot sometime this year but not right now um, what else um, so I just full bodies the Cuddles with hands and feet. Um, I am painting some Reborns. And so I might have one or two that might be bald or might be rooted. Because I might be able to get maybe a few rooted. Um, fingers crossed that it, it plays out well. Um, but I'm going to root mine first. <laughs> Get mine rooted first because listen, it's hard out here in the streets for for an artist. You know, collectors have a better chance of getting another artist to root for them. Artists, other artists don't even want to sell to me, much less root for me. So that's that's not 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 feasible. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it as far as coming up. My personal collection is pretty. Set. I don't foresee me selling any baby out of my personal collection. Um, I have one doll that's a sold out, very sold out Romy Stratum doll that I bought from uh, another collector secondhand. I I thought about that one. I'm not going to let it go though. I'm actually going to probably uh, end up giving that to uh, either Gabby or family or just keeping him here for me. Um, I am so I don't have I think that my for my personal collection I think everybody is is set to stay for right now the only one that is questionable would be um if I'm going to keep Logan or not and the only reason he's questionable is because I had told people that I would sell him so um but yeah, so that's that's it for now for for all I know. I I will, you know, as I get new like full bodies and stuff like that in, I'll probably do reviews on those kits. Um and then I'll probably I don't know if I'll upload them right away, but I will do a review. So for those that might be expecting that kit or interested in that kit and haven't seen a good, you know, honest review on it, I'll be doing that. Um I don't I don't know what my future is as far as prototypes and stuff like that down the road. So that that's another thing that might come into play. Um, but I made a video also talking about uh, some of that stuff as well. Um, so we have a lot to talk about. But I just thought I would share this little peanut. Um, I, I really can't believe I like this baby. Never say never. I cannot believe that I actually like... A baby with this expression let me so like I said once once she gets her body and she looks good as a boy actually but she's gonna be a girl I got so many boys I need some girls so she's gonna be a girl and she's Ayani and I'm gonna go and order her body I'm, I should order a couple bodies from Reggie Ann so um and Reggie Ann has cute little clothes too. How I put it away. Um, she has cute little clothes too sometimes that she makes that really look very professionally done. They look like store bought stuff, seriously. The quality is amazing. Um, so very much worth it if you are looking for little little uh baby clothes. So anyway, that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the chat. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight of what's up to come, what's to come. Um, I am, I do have a list in my head of things that people, multiple people are interested in seeing me paint. And so I'm looking guys and I'm trying very hard to find, you know, 
other sculpts, multiple different sculpts from different sculptors. I, you know, I've been reaching out to different sculptors and stuff. A lot of people, unfortunately, they're very selective who they sell to and or, you know, if they're overseas and they want Western Union payment, I ain't doing it. Or, you know, I, you know, so it is what it is. And if I'm a little skeptical about the silicone itself, I ain't doing it. So there's so many things that come into play with that. But um, I'm I'm searching. I saw a baby and I didn't reach out to that, that sculptor yet. That was a pretty chubby little baby because I do want to, but I want it to be so marshmallowy soft. I don't want a thick, stiff baby. Um, but anyway, um, I got some things in my head. I don't really need any more suggestions. Um, I'm going to find things that I really enjoy, think I would enjoy painting and go from there. Um, I have a baby that I'm expecting, um, within the next week or two. And hopefully I'll be able to tell if I'm going to keep that baby or let it go, but I'm not going to announce it because psh, once I paint the babies that always change. But anyway, so that is it. This is her own video. Um, trying to let the camera zoom in. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll do a better video another time. This was actually a long video. Let me go. Cause I gotta go. I got an appointment. Oh, and I got on clothes.